It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Jets and the New York Giants. And it's coming up next. It's a picturesque afternoon for football in the Northeast, and EA Sports comes to you from MetLife Stadium just across the Hudson River from New York City. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the New York Jets and their inner city rivals, the New York Giants. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, these Giants seem to be a team on the improve. They won their first playoff game since Super Bowl 46 last year. Now, what needs to happen to take that next step? They just need to continue to amass talent, get those guys going, and become contributors, and on the offensive side of the ball, become much more explosive in the passing game. Well, meanwhile, for the Jets, you know, even putting the quarterback situation aside, this is an exciting time for them right now. Yeah, they were just 7-10 and last year, I get that, but they're building a roster that's potentially got some future stars involved. They certainly are, remember. Going 7-10, and 10, they were 7-3 and three at one point last season. And they finished the year with the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. So you know that this roster is really on the rise. It's the battle for New York, or New Jersey for that matter. The Giants and Jets are underway. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. From the shotgun, Wilson. That's complete to Cobb. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Now it's Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as he'll be marked out a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive. And he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go. And sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. And look 
looking up into the sun. He's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. The Giants ready to go now on offense, and under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be, someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. They work now on second and nine. Looking to throw, Jones. They'll find Paris Campbell, that's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. And this will wind up being a third and three. So they give up the completion there. But defensively, Charles, you're going up against a quarterback here who's had some moments, but really a lot of ups and downs in the early part of his career. What's the plan against a guy like this? Well, you want to rattle him first and foremost, bring some people at him, a couple extra guys in the pocket, see if he can handle it. The second thing, you want to make him think. Show him one look, go to another, disguise a few things, make him throw into what you call your defensive traps and try to make some good plays on the ball and get a few takeaways. Here's Jones to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. Fielded at the 33. Nearly a huge return, as it is still a very good one. 24 yards. And the Jets will have a short field to work with as they take over first and 10. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls, or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Play action. Now Wilson. Got a man. That's Lazard. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. But certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Wilson. It'll be a gain of just a yard at its second down. On second down, a run with Hall. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Third and two, now Wilson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. They'll go for it. It's Hall. And not only did he not get in the end zone, he didn't get the first down either. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And that will force 
force a turnover on downs. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley, and he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And this will be a Giants first down as he'll take this forward to the 27. After a couple of seasons of battling injuries, the former number two overall pick returned to Pro Bowl form with over 1,300 yards and 10 touchdowns. Just as important, played 16 games and handled over 350 touches, essentially carrying the Giants offense. Jones on first down. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant and it's intercepted. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, here's Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Wilson. They'll give him four yards there. And now two yards to go on third down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Wilson now to throw on third down. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Jets first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Straight ahead is Hall. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now Wilson on second down. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, 
They avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. That he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the old line and recorded the sack. It's up about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look at a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Second down, here's Barkley again. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Throwing Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. An injury stoppage, and it looks like, yeah, it's the quarterback, Daniel Jones, receiving some assistance. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Fielded just inside the 30. I call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Jets will take over. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Now Hall to start the drive to about the 40-yard line. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Wilson. Finds Lazard quickly on the slant. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. Hall on a give up the middle. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. 
Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From the 42 yard line, here's second down and five. Here's Hall again. Not much there, maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. This offense so far on third down, two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. Now it's Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 22-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. Now Wilson on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. There's Wilson to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. short no gain on the play and that's going to lead him to fourth down remember that was less than a yard that was not a full yard that defense they were having none of it yeah the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball they reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them so wilson runs off and now they will go to the man they call greg the leg greg zerline Zerline's kick is up and through, and they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So another good job defensively because they've allowed three trips into the red zone, but only the two field goals. Yeah, that's the bend but don't break, isn't it? And they really didn't get broken at all because if you're running off the field having allowed two field goals and three trips in the red zone, you've actually come out ahead. Yeah, flip it over to the other side. The offense, they'll hope to cash in for six next trip. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And from his end zone, here's Gary Brightwell. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. They are still in search of their first points in the ball game, but only down 6 nothing as they begin with a first down. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Second and a couple. They'll run wide side here with Barkley. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. This defense is really fooling around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Well, so much for that possession. Yeah, I think he tried to do a little too much there, partner. He tried to keep it himself. End up getting buried in the backfield, and that brings up fourth down. On to punt, Jamie Gillen. 
And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Here's Wilson. This pass out wide to Hall. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. There he goes, left side. He may go. Brees Hall. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall. 69 yards. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. We know it's primarily a passing league now, but anytime a runner breaks one like that, You've got to have a secondary that can find a way to him and find a way to get him on the ground. Absent of that, he's going to find the end zone every time. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And he's got it to make it now 13 to nothing. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Past midfield. And he's going to take this all the way down inside the 40. But when the highlight is shown of this play, all attention is going to be on the person running with the football. But how about the group as a whole setting up that big time return yardage that we won't even account for in the box score may help them win the game. New York ready to go again offensively. They find themselves down 13-0 here as they try to get things started offensively. First and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Buying time to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Now Jones. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones taking it in from four yards out. And the Giants have got it back to within a score. And Daniel Jones has always been an integral part of his team's run game. Five touchdowns on the ground in the first three years. Had seven last season. So even if it's not a called quarterback run, he understands where the goal line is and often will carry it himself. 
Gano the extra point, and it's now 13 to 7. Just a four play drive that time, and it results in a four yard touchdown run. Touchdown here to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Brees Hall helped leading out this offense for another series. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 118 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They'll go again with Hall. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They'll give to Hall. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. The offense on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. To throw is Wilson. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. There it certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least it'll be fourth down. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory with a first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 11. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. First play of the drive, let's get credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. Now a second and two. Hodgins in motion. Running again with Barkley on second down. And they'll get him down here at the 23. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Now Jones throwing on first down. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. Throwing on second and long. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. 
The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. On third down, Barkley. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Needed 13, they got 14 on third down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out and right up the middle. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right, then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Now second and nine. On the draw, this is Barkley. A nice little juke, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 73 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. The throw over the middle, taken in. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here's second and seven. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Got a man, it's Darren Waller. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 22-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Jones now on first and 10, and that is incomplete. 17 seconds now on the clock here. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. They'll look to throw again. Oh, and that is incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. It's a 39-yard attempt right hash. Gano's kick is good, and that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football. It's something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Yeah. 
So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a solid first half out of the running back, Brees Hall. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. On the return, here's Gary Brightwell. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. They trail by three, and they just got three yards to start the third quarter. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Second down, here's Barkley again. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Third down and six. Back to throw. Jones and that's going to be incomplete the contact there enough to jar that ball free and it brings up fourth down oh, I thought he had that one and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life instead they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today it's taken to the 26 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return, and out will come the offense as they take over. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. Wilson firing quickly here and that's complete and a six yard gain gets him right around the 43 they'll run it here's Cook and he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. That's complete to Lazard. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Brings up second and two at the 46 yard line. Oh. 
Now Wilson. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. To find him. Find him. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now it's Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Wilson to Wilson there. Zach to Garrett for a jet first down. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Defense. And the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. They will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty. Here's a give to Hall. No, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. The defensively, Cordell Flott got him down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On second down, Wilson. He'll get this to Lazari. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. the shotgun Wilson and Lazard's got it again so the completion good for six yards and it's second down it's a pickup of six brings up second and four at the 24 yard line out of the gun here's Wilson Open man here is Conklin. And that'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's Wilson. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he sacked. And while all of that was going on with a sack, it appears, unfortunately, we have an injured player. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. On second down, a run with Hall. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far... That's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. He finds Wilson. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. That was a heck of an effort to stop him just short of the marker, but now they're going to need another big play on fourth down on defense, I believe, because offensively, they went from third and long and now it's a go situation here on fourth and inches. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. So it was a three-point lead at halftime, and they double that with a field goal here. And I think defensively, you've got to be okay with that because you kept this game within a touchdown. 
your hope is that you've inspired your offense to put a drive together, get in the end zone themselves, and hopefully get you the lead. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Here's Brightwell to return it. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And now out come the Giants. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Absolutely nowhere to go with the football, and he's just going to put this one in the Hudson River. Maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get called for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A give to Barkley out of the gun. A beautiful fake. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 89 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable, but that time the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. My, my, maybe that ball's two yards shorter. It's going to give them the lead because he had a receiver running free there. That's a tough one to miss on. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on for the fifth time here today. This is brought in at the 21. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. And they will take over first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Boyle. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Second down in the yard. Off the play fake, Boyle. Throw left side complete, that's Hall. And he goes out of bounds, it looks like right at the 50. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. A handoff for Hall. Shifts past him at the 45. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Here's second and three. Looking to throw. Boyle. Steps away to his left, and he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, 
No hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. On first and 10, it's Hall. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. So from the 37, here's a second down and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Operating from the gun, Boyle. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 26. Give them 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big-time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. On first and 10, Boyle. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. It's a pickup of 12, second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's caught left side, Ruckert with it. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. Ball on the eight, it's second and four. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. Straight ahead is Hall, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you see, got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin from 10 yards out. And the Jets will add to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Possession of the football going back over to the Giants. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Throwing Jones. That's complete left side to Shepard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure they only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. A first down carry for Barkley. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the 41, here's second and five. Now Jones. A quick throw there is incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. And this offense on third down today, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and five. Back to throw, Jones. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Here's Jamie Gillen now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Here's a quick throw out to Wilson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. From the 21, here's second and two. A give running right is Hall. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for New York. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at about the 32. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Now a second and 10. Throwing again, Jones. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw, Jones. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack. And it's going to lead him to fourth down. A third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, 
He really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. Here's Jamie Gillen now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Jets will take over. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. The goal for any offense versus a zone defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now Wilson on second down. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? That is caught, and he is going to have a Jets first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now Wilson on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hall. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Hall on a give up the middle. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 22. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. To throw is Wilson. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Back to the ground with Hall. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So an important one there as they widen their lead in this fourth quarter. All right, partner, help me out with the math here. Make sure I am on point, because the way I see it, 
The other guys still need two touchdowns, but in addition, a two-point conversion. So this is all about them playing perfect football from here on out. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Back to throw, Jones. And his throw here is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. To throw once more on second and 10, Jones. Catch made here by Campbell. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Up the middle with Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Here's Jones, looking to throw on second down. Looking left side and it's complete. Touchdown Giants! Isaiah Hodgins, 28 yards. And the Giants are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So this is now a nine point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one score game. Now you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. Extra point try, good by Gano, as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. too deep here comes a return a solid return pretty good field position they'll start at the 32 and New York set to take the field and with that last touchdown I mean we're set up for a good finish here some things to consider Charles obviously it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter defensively they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket so the chess match really ramps up doesn't it because in these situations what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. The 
couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Here's Hall again. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. So with your team leading in the fourth quarter, you know you've got to run the football. They know you've got to run the football. Sometimes that means there's nowhere to run the football. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Out of the gun, they run him home. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second and nine. There's a fake on the Jets sweep, and instead a give to Hall up the middle. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Here's Wilson. That's complete to Lazard. And he will have a Jets first down, and that should just about do it. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy could be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Jets with victory seemingly in hand. They take the knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, oh, how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. 